what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Slim Thug went on his IG today and revealed that he has been diagnosed with the coronavirus. He said that he went and got tested and it came back positive. He said, as much as I've been quarantining, may have went and got some food or something like that. He said, I had the gloves on, I had the mask and all of that stuff. And my test came back positive. Now, Slim also revealed that he had some symptoms. He said he had a little cough and he doesn't have that anymore. He's feeling good. He's okay. He's just taking it easy right now. Family, I had a conversation yesterday with a good friend of mine. And he was telling me, man, man, that stuff ain't nothing, man. It's, it's fake, man. It's been around, man. It ain't dangerous. It ain't this and it ain't that, man. Man, who you know got it, man? I say, keep waking up. I say, within the next couple of weeks, you're going to be hitting me up and telling me about somebody that you know personally that has it. it. Wasn't even 24 hours. I actually called him and and told him and he was shocked. He was like, you know, so it's real family. Like, I don't understand why people can't get it through their head that the coronavirus is real and people are out here dying of this thing. Now you start talking about the, the medical, uh, scientific stuff behind it and all that stuff. I don't know, all I know is people are dying. They're saying these people got this, this virus and people are dropping dead. This thing is wiping out families. Now, I've heard that this thing has been around since like 2006. You know, people have been knowing for, about it at least since 2006. And it's quite possible that many of us have had the coronavirus and fought it off and didn't even know. Think about what I'm saying. Because they don't have a vaccine for it. But there is treatment for it. You know, like drinking warm waters, being in uh, warm climates, uh, keeping your hands and stuff clean and all that stuff, being sanitized, all that stuff. So that's things that people can do to fight it off if they were to get it. And so who knows? Somebody watching right now has probably already had coronavirus. Somebody watching right now, I'm sure, has it right now. And you'll probably be okay if you self-quarantine and continue to do the things that these people recommend. Uh, I look at it like this. It's better safe than sorry. I'd rather be paranoid than dead. So Slim hit closer to home for a lot of people because, you know, Slim is accessible. He's somebody that, that a lot of people know, uh, not just through music or whatever, but they know Slim personally because I say, like I said, Slim is accessible. He's around the people a lot. And so now that he has it, a lot of people are going like, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Kind of remind me of what happened back in the day with Magic Johnson. It was like, remember when, when AIDS first hit? Everybody was like, I oh, man, people were cracking jokes about it, laughing and all this stuff. And then it started getting closer to home. You know, at first people were like, oh man, that's a, that's a gay thing. People were cracking jokes about it. And then heterosexuals started getting it. And then, you know, some celebrities start, started to get it. You know, we had some B, B list celebrities, couple B list celebrities, D list celebrities, whatever. And then the A list celebrities started getting it. Rock Hudson. Arthur Ashe, Magic Johnson, and that's when, boom, everybody, like, whoa, whoa. And then it got to a point to where people had family members who had it, 
or they had a friend or everybody knew somebody who not just who, who not only had it but died from it and i suspect that this coronavirus this new strain of coronavirus that's taking people out uh in the very very near future all of us are going to know somebody who not only have the virus but who has died from complications of the virus i suspect that's going to happen in the very near future family I ain't trying to make you paranoid I'm just trying to make you aware. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?